All right, y'all, this is the entrance. The door is right here. And you come in this way. And the kitchen is here. Yes, white cabinets. You guys don't know what white cabinets mean to me. Nice. I should have did a tour of where I used to live so y'all could see why I'm so hyped right now. Oh my gosh, this sink is huge. Yes. And then right here is a washer and dryer. And you know, I'm going to do that cute little thing where you like empty out all the, the, the stuff into clear jars. I saw that on TikTok. <laughs> this is the living room. Oh, I'm loving this. Y'all know for YouTube, you need these big windows for that natural sunlight, child. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love it. And then over here, I think this is going to be Ollie's room, right? This is going to be Ollie's room. Ollie's bathroom. Nice little face sink. <laughs> oh, you can take off your mask. You're inside. Um, this is his closet. Ooh. The other, the other one, closet is huge. This is yeah. This is good for Ollie. His stuff, and we could basically make this a play area, cause he don't have this many clothes. This is big. This is big. Watch the other closet. Look at the other closet. And this is our room. Again, like that's the kitchen and the entrance. And then there's another little closet here and another bathroom. Yes, there's light. Hello, y'all. All right, that's the bathroom. Ooh, little jacuzzi. Yes, I'm a germaphobe though. I'm gonna clean everywhere before we empty out our stuff. I don't know, that's like a boiler thing or something. So we got a linen closet right here for the bathroom. And then this is the bedroom. It's not humongous, but I love it. And then this is a pretty big closet. This is definitely enough. <laughs> this is definitely enough closet space for us. The bedroom is small, but I think we could do like a, just like a bed and two side tables and call it a day. I'm just here for the lighting. So let me tell y'all real quick about our trip here. So first of all, our flight was four hours delayed and it was horrendous. It was literally like a freaking, I don't even know. It was like the flight from hell, supposedly like, first of all, the flight was delayed two hours and then he wanted to, the pilot wanted to go say, oh, um, there's something wrong with the plane. If I were to take off like this right now, the side of the the left side of the plane would melt. I was like, sir, what? So it's this is like the second flight I've taken this year that was like had drama because the first one. But yeah. Um. Anyway, so basically, the flight I had took before, I had to come down here just for um, just to sign papers for work. So when I came down here, oh, I didn't even show y'all the fridge. Look how nice this is. Yes, new appliances. Oh, and we have like a, uh, what is this called, babe? Um, not gas, but electric stove. I don't know how I feel about that, but I guess I don't have a choice, right? Ooh, whirlpool. <laughs> so yeah, so basically, like when I had came down here for the flight just to sign the documents, the plane ran out of gas and we ended up going what state did i go to again i'm sorry what state did i go to when the plane ran out of gas when i came down here just to find papers it georgia? georgia yeah it was georgia i had to stop in georgia to get gas i was like what what kind of plane run why did why did it run out of gas like but anyway so we made it here ali is loving it he's running around but after that four hour flight, after we made it here, it's three o'clock in the morning, we're tired, we're in a bad mood, we're hungry, we're like super exhausted. Then the Airbnb code was wrong. The Airbnb host sent me the wrong freaking code. I was livid, like I was so pissed. And then, so we ended up sleeping in the car in the parking lot because we couldn't get into the Airbnb because he sent us the wrong code. 
So then after that, he, um, he finally answered at 9 a.m. So he fell asleep in the car or whatever, woke up at 9 a.m., get into the art Airbnb, and it's filthy. Filthy. It's literally so dirty. Like, Ali's foot was black with dust. It was so nasty. So that was annoying. Oh, there's more lights here. I just want to clean everywhere before we, like, move our stuff in. But it looks really clean. I literally love it. Did you see the store yet? I did see the fridge. You mean the fridge? I like it. Yeah, so anyway, then the person like finally answers we get in this filthy, it's dirty, it's crumbs everywhere, there's blonde hair on the um all over the bed. They did not do anything. Oh yeah. ice maker? So you have to put ice cubes and stuff. You just push the button and stuff. So I'ma just buy those ice the ice trays that's balls for like Liquor. No, I know, but I want to buy the molds just for the balls and the skinny ones for water bottles. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There's a pantry here. Thank you, <laughs> So, yeah. So, then um, we ended up getting into it with the Airbnb host because he was, like, mad rude. I'm going to put up the screenshot. So, I called Airbnb. And they basically told me, we got to clean these windows. Babe? Yes, babe. We got to clean these windows. No problem. You already know I can take care of it. It's not a problem. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. That's the only thing. But the, the shades are dusty, too. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, this is your new home, Molly. You have so much room to run. So... Um, I'm so happy we were on the first floor anyway, but back to the damn story. So he got an attitude with me, so we packed up our stuff and left, and then we went to another Airbnb. I booked another Airbnb. Mind you now, I'm out $1,500 because now I got to wait for this Airbnb nightmare to be refunded. So now I'm out. Then I go and get another Airbnb for like $800 or something like that. So then I booked that Airbnb. They charge my card, and then they want to call me and talk about some old... Oh, um, we don't take reservations under 30 days. That was a glitch in the system. You shouldn't have been able to book this Airbnb. So I was like, oh my gosh. So mind you, we're in the car with all of our stuff at this point. Still did not get any rest. And we have to wait until Airbnb figures something out to get us another place. So I was just like arguing with them back and forth. Well, not arguing because they were like the actual Airbnb people were really nice. But I had to like wait and wait and wait. So finally, they gave me a four hundred dollar credit, and I was able to book an Airbnb with the Hilton. So then we went into there, and it was good. Like, and from then on, like, it was better. But getting here was literally a nightmare. Between the flight and the Airbnb draw, I was literally like, oh my gosh, I can't take it. So anyway, we're here now. I had a whole week of the. ICU residency program that was great we learned EKGs we learned like you know de-escalation tactics like how to communicate with like aggressive patients and sometimes mentally ill patients and things like that we did a whole bunch of modules and now we are in our apartment I love it I literally love it I love 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 it and Ali clearly loves it you like it babe? yeah I like it I like I it. It's it. uh, very roomy. It feels homey. Yeah, it does. And I love being on the first floor. Know. Like, what I hated the most, like, about the... No, not even the most. The What I hated the most was mice. But what I hated about living in the apartment we lived in in Brooklyn was actually the um, the third floor. That used to drive me nuts. Because getting up... Getting, um like, all the the groceries and then when Ollie was a baby bringing him up in the car seat his stroller we didn't used to want to leave it in the lobby because like people would like put I would like be scared of like people taking it and stuff it was just too much <laughs> but now we are here and I love this apartment it's giving me what hey y'all so I'm still in class actually but the movers are here so I just left my laptop playing because we're just doing ABGs and I kind of understand that already. So let me see if we can figure this out. The truck is so cute. Let me show you guys. That's our stuff. All your toys are in there, Ollie. Yep. Hey, stop. He's just, we're just moving the car for him. 
piece of cake movers. Finally out of class. Oh, I don't know who this is calling me. Deny. I don't answer like <laughs> numbers. I don't know. Um. Anyway. Uh. So we're about to go get something to eat. I think we're gonna have banchan. Um. The movers dropped everything off. Where's all these shoes? Oh. We finally got all our stuff. We don't have a lot of stuff, honestly. This is his train table, and like his stroller and stuff, and his crib is right there but he really needs to just get a twin bed but um for now we're just gonna use that um but yeah so we're about to go get some food come on ollie can you put him up here for me can you put him up here so i have to put on his shoes Seriously, let's go. So that was actually a really painless piece of cake moving company. They're pretty good. They came in and set up everything. They put all the boxes in one place for us and we didn't have to do much. I was in class, so I couldn't do anything anyway. Um, you wanna go look at the lake? I'm really hungry. No, you have it. Because remember you moved it for the movers? Um yeah so we're about to go get some food i'm starving come on ollie okay ollie's very excited to have his scooter back but he doesn't know there's not a lot of scooting here yeah yeah and look you have a little hill to go down right here go down the hill right here it's a little incline All right, you did it. Ali loves this place so much. He was like, um, I'm coming back here, right? I'm like, yeah, this is our place now. Yes, I can smell it. You got Ali? Oh, there's a beauty supply store right down the block from us that is perfect. Perfection, literal per perfection. So yeah, we're about to go to Bonchon. Mm. I'm starving. This video is probably all over the place, but hello. There's a beauty supply store here, so I could not resist. Oh, studs, yes. They change colors, babe. You have to keep buying them because they're not real. Is it cute? Huh? Yeah, it's big, right? Look at all the hair. Word. Guys, look how huge. Um, it's not that. I need anything really. I just wanted lashes and earrings. Not those, though. Let me see where they have other lashes. have conditioner and then I just did these um locks they're still tight that's why I haven't styled them but I feel like they'll they'll look cute once I like put them like this you know like these in like a little ponytail or something and like a bun if it could make a bun then it will look cute but right now I just have it down because I literally just did it and it hurts like hell still it actually hurts more than box braids to me oh, 
I have the developer, I will definitely be needing that because I might try to dye my hair myself again to get to this color because um, it kept fading with the semi-permanent, obviously. I don't know why I thought semi-permanent would last, but... <laughs> so I don't know if I finished telling y'all about how horrendous it was getting here, but basically, like, um, it worked out in the end because I ended up getting a credit for an Airbnb, and we ended up staying at the Hilton, and that was fine, and it ended up, like saving us like eight hundred dollars because of the um credit that we got and the fact that we like, stayed somewhere much better and much more affordable so it worked out pretty much sit. and now we're here sit, puppy. Sit, sit. and all is well and all he doesn't want to go in his car seat come on up i know you gonna ride your you want to go um we'll find a playground yeah all right so oh, we have to wipe it. yeah we'll go to the playground we have a playground in this apartment complex thank you you're welcome there will be thomas in the track yeah we can go when we come back home we'll we'll, we'll take out all your thomas toys we got the drugs, thomas. yeah we can get all of that when we come back and when we finish eating thomas got how are these trucks on in the home? Yeah. And, and so much work putting you in this car seat. Train. We're not used to this, right? We're used to taking Thomas a train, not driving. We're taking a train. I'm giving Bob Marley with this right now. <laughs> Is that hand sanitizing or just moisture? Yeah, you know, it's not hand sanitizing. Yeah, this smells so good. This and the um the cotton one. No, you cannot take off your shoes. Go play. You want to go back inside? You, do you want to go back inside? You, you want to go back home or do you want to play? Go play. You need to keep on your shoes because that's dirt. You see? That's dirt. It has yeah. ants in there too. Oh no, my SD card only has 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so let me close out this vlog. Um, just curi out of curiosity if you want to see my food before. I love Bonchon. I hope it's um as good as the one in New York. I hope it does not. It's but yeah, one. thanks guys for watching this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, if you made it to this part of the video and you're not subscribed, seriously, like what are you doing? subscribe to my youtube channel like this video comment follow me on instagram mm -hmm. all of that um i'm gonna go finish to wet. eating and then i got modules to do for home study it's like endless so yeah say thanks for watching i say thanks for watching okay yes or not to wet. okay bye guys <laughs>